We'll go ahead and get started with a um, comment from Coach Goodenbauer. Um, well, I give a, a ton of credit to Santa Clara. They um, had a fantastic tournament. They um, played a really good first game against Pacific and had a dominating win there. They came out and, um, you know, they were just so, uh, I think, unified after the injury to Van Allen. Everybody stepped up um, into taking over really big roles and filling that void and filling that gap. I thought Haraki has played the best that I've ever seen her play in these last two games. Uh, Veal stepped up. Uh, their little uh, guard, Johnson, stepped up, made big shots. They all just, you know, they all really rallied together um, and played on a lot of emotion. And um, we were, you know, I'm proud of the way our team responded. Um, I think we came out a little bit tight. And, um, you know, we're really looking forward to the matchup um, that we wanted to get against Gonzaga in the second round, but uh, I thought we were a little bit tense, and you know, despite not really playing our probably our best, um, we were able to kind of withstand the the emotional rally that Santa Clara had. Okay, we'll go go ahead and open it up to questions for the student athletes only at this point from the room. Raise your hand, and we'll bring a wireless mic to you. Steve in the front row. Kind of following up on what Coach said, you guys were up 10 nothing. you're up 20-5, to five. a team's playing its third game in three days without its best player. Were you thinking at 20-5 to five, this might be a, a lot easier day than it wound up being? Uh, you know, Santa Clara is a really good team, and they had a really, really good game. So we were trying to stay focused the whole game. We hadn't uh, played the game for a week, so, you know, we need, to, we need some time to find our legs back. Uh, but, you know, I'm really proud for our team and our effort. Uh, Santa Clara had a really good game. At the, at the same time, we didn't have our great game. But we're really excited to play uh, Gonzaga again, and we're lo looking forward for that game. Yeah, I, I don't think, like, we were up 20 to 5, but it was first quarter. And, you know, that, that can happen in any game. And we can't take any team or game for granted, so I think you know, we just had to keep pushing. And like Yo said, like, it wasn't the best game for us. Um, but, you know, we came out with the win, so. Ioana, you started your career last year being a three-point shooter. That was what you were known for. And this year, just watching you play, you've developed this game of driving to the basket and being just a really strong finisher. And just why have you been able to develop and become so good at that and come, you know, merge that with your three-point shooting, you know, because everybody's guarding your three and really just expecting that from you. Uh, I mean, after uh, last season, I knew that everybody would guard my three because uh, that, that was what was I doing last year. Uh, so during the summer, I tried to uh, work a little bit on my pull shot and uh, on my finishes uh, around the basket. So, you know, I'm glad that I can finish in different ways this year. Uh, and I think, like, I have really good uh, hard time to shoot a three right now because everybody's guarding that. So I'm just trying to find different ways to help my team. Go okay, back to Steve. We'll pass you the mic. Give us one second. I know you had two close losses against Gonzaga. Why will Monday be different? Uh, we know how Gonzaga play, and uh, you know those uh, laws that we had against them were really, really tough for us. So uh, we'll, we'll be really focused on Monday, and uh, you know we will we believe that we can beat them, and we almost beat them on the on the last game and the first game. So why not uh, now? And I think we're ready, and we play better with each other. So uh, we're really, really excited, and we're looking forward for uh, to play against them. I, and we know Gonzaga is a really good team, but I think we're a really good team too, and we can beat them. Yeah, I mean, we had two really close games with them, and I think exactly what Yo said, we're playing really well together, and you know, either team can win, and why not now? We're in the tournament, we want to get to March Madness, so yeah. Okay, any further questions from the room? Yeah, for the players, uh, how tough was that last second loss to Gonzaga? That must have been a tough one. That was one of the hardest games, I think, this year. Um, there was a lot of emotions in the locker room after, too. And it just really hit close to home because we were that close 
and I just think it's it's going to make it even more important for us to go out tomorrow and perform and do our best to get the win. Uh, I mean, it was really tough because we were playing on our home court and we really don't like to lose, but especially in our home court, it was really tough. Uh, that's why I think on Monday we'll be more ready and we'll uh, go out there and we'll do our best to get the win. Okay, anybody else in the room for the student athletes? Okay, we'll go over to Zoom and Jeff Verrato for the student athletes only at this point. Ioana, it looked like they were pretty much face guarding you the whole game and no one was dropping off of you ever, but it looked you were able to help your team in other ways, rebounding and passing the ball and drawing some fouls. Can you talk about how you sort of stay focused when, when they're trying to take you out like that? Uh, yeah, I knew that my teammates would help me. I knew that my, uh, this happened to face guard me. But I just tried to help my team in different, wa different ways. We have a lot of people that they can score this year. So I just passed the ball to them and, you know, they were finishing uh, baskets. Uh, so it doesn't matter uh, if, you know, who scores. It doesn't matter to serve the ball and, uh, you know, make baskets. We got the win. It doesn't matter who scored more, who scored less. It does matter that we got the win in, and we everybody helped the team to get what we wanted to get. Thank you. K Kennedy, um, they scored, to open up the fourth quarter, they scored 10 points in 70 seconds against you guys, and all of a sudden, it's a, um, a one-point game before Longer hit that three from the left corner. But what were you thinking when they scored in such a hurry and, and made the game all of a sudden very, very close? I mean, like we said earlier, they're a great team, and we can't discredit them ever. Um, obviously, it wasn't fun for us to get scored on like that, but, you know, it's, it's a game of basketball. It comes in runs, and we just had to focus on the next quarter. How do you think you were able to sort of maintain your poison and, and uh, not let them get over the hump and take the lead? I think we just played well together. We were passing the ball, we were sharing the ball. Um, and, you know, we just, we locked in on defense and we just got that win. Thank you. Okay, anything else for either student athlete? Okay, student athletes, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys. Uh, well, we like to look ahead, of course, and uh, I'm sure you are too now. Uh, what, what do you think has to, to change a little bit for you guys to, to get over that hump against Gonzaga? Uh, boy, finish games. You know, we did everything the first two, two games except win uh, against them. We, we had both games in hand and, um, you know, managing the clock, managing the game, some, a lot of that's on me, um, and, and just you know, we did a, a fantastic job of putting ourselves in position to win both of those games, even, you know, the game at Gonzaga and certainly the game at home, um, which I think uh, has given these guys a lot of confidence. Um, I think today they were a little bit tense and excited to, to get this first game under their belts. But I, you know, I just really believe in their ability to, you know, their familiarity with Gonzaga, our ability to defend the things that they do. Um, we're going to need to figure out ways other than, than you want to score the basketball. But, um, you know, I just, one thing about this team is they are, um, you know, they're pretty fearless and they're, they've been pretty indomitable. Um, and I, I don't, you know, anything can kind of happen with these guys. Um, so they're a fun group to coach and, and I'm excited to be able to coach them for at least one more game. I know they'll give a great effort, win or lose. I know that they will come out and they'll represent USF very well and, and play together. They love playing together. They're great teammates for one another. And, um, you know, I think they're excited to be, be in this moment and have this opportunity. Coach, you're a team that shoots about eight Eight to nine made threes a game. Today you only made four, but you had 42 points in the paint. How does it, what does it say about your team to be able to win in a way that you don't normally win? Yeah, I mean, that, I think, you know, you asked Ioana the question about changing her game a little bit this year. They, teams have keyed so much on Yo's three-point shot because she is such an exceptional shooter. And, you know, to her credit, she had a broken hand and was out for two months at the beginning of the year. She had COVID at Christmas. It's been kind of fits and starts for her. And, you know, she's just persevered through it all and, and added to her game. She's added a pull-up jump shot. Um, her defense is much better than it used to be. Um, she's finding teammates at a, at a higher rate than before. And, 
you know, I think, you know, as teams, you know, are obviously we play each other so many times and then you get to the conference tournament and you're playing a third time, uh, they take away your strengths. You're scouted very well. So they take away our three point shot and, you know, they try to make other people handle the ball, other people make baskets. And, you know, we did find ways, you know, Claudia and, and Kennedy have both been, um, you know, stepped into such uh, dynamic roles for our team this year that uh, Yo does have some help. You know, they've got, we have an inside presence, which we haven't had in the past. And um, you got Amelie, when she's hitting her shot, that really helps us. I thought Jasmine Gales hit a really big three-point shot uh, there end of the end of the half, I think. Um, so, you know, we've got some people around us and, and we have the ability to do some things other than, than hit three-point shots, although we'd, you know, we'd love to be able to make more than four of 21. You talked a little bit about her, but Claudia Longarita has been such a blessing this sort of second half of conference play. Can you just talk about what has allowed her to grow and become sort of this off the bench scoring presence as just a freshman? Yeah, Claudia's a really interesting, uh, you know, kid. She came, uh, you know, a, a post player, freshman, international. Um, you know, there were lots of changes, lots of things she had to 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 kind of get used to as she transitioned to being a college athlete. Um, and I think her her rate of progression in that, you know, while it's not been linear, it's certainly been an upward trend. Um, you know, her fitness level has improved. Her ability to, to concentrate and focus throughout practice has improved. Her understanding um, of concepts and, and expectations has improved. And she's always always wanted to be, you know, the best thing about her is she wants to do well. She wants to be a great teammate. Um, so she's, you know, somebody that has really grown into a, you know, a, a role that we depend on. And I think, you know, her best basketball is still ahead of her as, as she matures, as her body matures, as her understanding of the game matures. But she's got such, you know, such an um, exceptional IQ already for a young player. Um, we're really fortunate to have her. I think she's going to have, you know, three more really good years of basketball for us. Okay, any other questions from in the room? Okay, we'll go to Jeff Ferrato on Zoom for coach. Hello, Molly. How you doing? Good, thanks. Um, you sort of touched on it, but on a night when uh, Santa Clara did everything they could to make sure that uh, Ioana didn't score a bunch of points, she helped the team in other ways, but you also got a lot of good performances from other folks. Do you see sort of an evolution in your team as, as you have an ability to, to beat teams in different ways? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I think our, our recruiting, bringing in Kennedy Dickey and bringing in Claudia, bringing in Jasmine, those three have become um, really critical parts of our rotation. Um, you know, and our, our job, our goal with recruiting was to kind of augment um, what we already had. You know, we knew we needed a post presence that could score. We knew we needed some, you know, we knew we needed some more scoring. Um, and we also, we need rebounding. That's a, a huge issue we're trying to address. Our best rebounders are sitting on the bench injured right now. But um, we did bring in some some pieces to help Yo. Um, and last year, you know, if Yo wasn't our leading scorer, last year we had a hard time winning games. This year um, we were, you know, regularly having three and four people in double figures scoring wise. So. You know, I think I think those those new additions to the team have really um, certainly helped us be a better unit and a more prepared, you know, more prepared to beat a team like a Gonzaga, more prepared to, um, you know, perform consistently. And though, you know, we've had some injuries this year. We're, we're really fortunate to have Lucia Kostic back in the lineup after having uh, been out for the last uh, three games um, with a concussion. So we, you know, we've had some ups and downs in terms of what our lineup has been. But when we're healthy and we have a full um, squad to, to compete with, we feel like we can play with anybody in the league. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, any final questions for Coach? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.